what is going on guys it is district training here bringing you guys this brand new video now today guys we're going to be talking about why low pump will be a lot different this year in 2018 so if you guys are a low pump fan make sure you guys leave a like on this video because i do want to know how many people are a fan of pump and that are watching this video so today we're going to be breaking down a few things that will explain why we will see a whole brand new low pump this year so i do hope you guys enjoy we're also going to be giving away an iphone x at the end of the month so if you guys want to learn how to win just watch this video all the way through and just make sure you subscribe to my channel so we all know that Lil Pump practically took over the music hip-hop world in 2017. You can easily look at the numbers for yourself and look, but he was literally getting more searches than huge name artists in the music industry, which is very impressive for somebody who only started getting big in 2017. Now Lil Pump has a special type of personality which the younger generation absolutely loves, so like from ages 14 to 20, they absolutely just love him. But we actually might see some new things come from Lil Pump in the year of 2018. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video guys. So let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. I want you guys to comment down below your favorite thing about Lil Pump. And I'll be sure to go to your channel, check out your videos, give you guys some support. But anyways, let's jump straight into this video. So for the first thing we're going to be seeing from Lil Pump this year that was going to be totally different is going to be his actual personality. Now not only is he getting older so he's going to be maturing a lot. But he also did give up something that he did a lot last year year which is Zan. He decided to leave them behind in 2017 and won't be touching them this year at all which is pretty interesting to see seeing how he talks about them almost 50 times per day it seems like in every video he's in. So it's definitely going to be a little weird seeing Pump not on them but it's a really good thing because guys he's only 17 years old and he's doing all these extra things that he does on a day to day basis so it's really not that good for him and his health. That kind of just brings me to the next point which is that Pump is only actually 17 years old. He's still practically a kid and he will be turning 18 this year so he's probably going to mature and grow up a bit so I don't see him doing all the crazy things that he does in public that he was doing when he was say 16 or 17 years old. I still remember when I turned 18 it kind of just hit me randomly that I was an adult and I kind of like matured there on that same day so hopefully that kind of happens a little pump because then he'll clean up his act a little bit and because he definitely doesn't want to do something that will be a really bad mistake because he will be 18 years old and the court will definitely not go easy on him if he does something along the lines of that along the lines of breaking the law which would be a very bad thing especially when he's 18 years old so the second reason why we'll probably see a huge change in pump this year is because him and his management team definitely know how profitable pump actually is now so according to google Lil pumps albums concerts and youtube views grossed him about six million dollars in the year of 2017 which is absolutely insane for being his first year really into the game now that they know how profitable he is and how much the younger generation actually loves him he'll be doing things like selling merch pushing more album sales and doing a lot more concerts and a few other things for his fans to buy which will generate a lot of revenue for him because one of the big things right now for the younger generation is buying people's merch so I, I don't know if you guys have a specific youtuber you guys watch that has merch if you guys do you guys probably have bought something of their merch store so like I know for me one of my favorite youtubers is Max Tuning and I've actually bought some of his merchandise so it's kind of a very common thing especially for the younger generation I know a lot of people would probably wear a low pump shirt if they just smacked his face on it wearing clout goggles so that's probably going to be one of the top sellers if he actually does make that into a shirt now my personal opinion guys pump will not be around for longer than three to five years just because of his type of music and many other things i just don't see it happening and a lot of people also don't as well nobody really wants to see a 25 year old jumping around doing childish things like he does now i'm not hating on pump if anything i'm actually a pump fan but i'm just saying how it is trends come and go and i think something bigger will eventually take over pump so they're definitely going to be trying to make as much money as possible while his clout is up they probably have already but i definitely think his management team should start investing his money for him so because i doubt he he didn't even finish high school so i doubt he even knows how to like invest into anything but his management team should definitely start investing in real estate cryptocurrency stock market whatever just to get you know build his money up so the third and last thing i'll talk about in this video that will definitely see low pump doing this year in 2018 is cleaning up his act in public then he can do a lot more sponsorship deals with big name companies and it'll just help his overall self-image. Now, if you guys don't know anything about Pump, you would definitely know that he definitely isn't the nicest person in the person. And he likes to do really dumb things in public for views, which I totally understand. But sometimes he goes just a little bit too far and gets carried away, which those things definitely don't help his image. And companies wouldn't want to work with him when they see that. So just take Lil Yachty as an example. 
Yachty and Pump got their fame around the same time and Yachty actually has a lot more money than him. According to Google that is. Yachty actually got most of his money from sponsorship deals with Sprite, Target, and many other companies. It was actually rumored that Yachty got paid $3 million for a Target commercial and other promotions with Target which is an insane amount of money. Just because seeing the return it brings for such easy work, all Yachty had to do was basically film like a 25 second commercial and he made about $3 million. Now not only did Yachty make $3 million dollars from Target but he got paid another million from Sprite for a promotional commercial and he even got a lifetime supply of Sprite which is very sweet and I wish I had that. Before we get into the video I just want to let you guys know we are doing an iPhone X giveaway at the end of the month. If you would like to enter just subscribe to my channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, then watch this video fully through then go to the description down below and click the iPhone X giveaway link. Follow the simple rules and you'll be entered to win. So that's all for today's video guys if you enjoyed please smack a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also, if you guys are new, make sure you guys show my channel to a couple of friends and get them to subscribe to the channel. If you show me proof of your friend subscribing to the channel, I'll be sure to shout out your channel in my next video. Anyways guys, it's been District Trending. Peace out.